Hi, my name is James Rice. I'm from New Zealand. I'm a second year master's student at the University of Tokyo's Kashiwa campus. In our lab, we mostly study uh, plasma physics for nuclear fusion, specifically magnetically confined fusion. Fusion is important because uh, of our growing population and energy needs um, as a planet. Um, as the population grows and our energy needs increase, and as fossil fuels dwindle, uh, our environmental concerns become more important, we need clean and safe energy that can sustain the whole population. Um, while traditional nuclear power can do that, it doesn't do it safely and things can go wrong. Um, the advantage of fusion is that it can provide that energy without any chance of having uh, ecological disasters and without um, emissions of carbon dioxide. In that case, it becomes a very important alternative energy prospect. Nuclear fusion energy is a very broad topic, um, so we focus mostly on the heating and current drive processes uh, used for fusion energy. Fusion energy is uh, a process that harnesses nuclear fusion, the fusing of lighter elements into heavier elements to produce energy. When you fuse two elements together, you produce a lot of energy um, as a result. A good example of this is uh, the sun. Uh, that's it's the process that powers the sun's core. Um, and by uh, taking that and making it smaller scale, we can bring that sort of energy production here to Earth. Our reactor here is a very small scale device. Um, the more traditional tokamak design can be rather inefficient with its magnetic confinement. So the principle of our spherical tokamak design is to bring everything in much closer. And that allows the magnetic confinement to be much more efficient. Our reactor is uh, capacitively charged, um, which means our experiments are very, very fast. They occur within a tenth of a second. Being able to see what the experiment uh, results are can be quite a bit of a challenge. And that's where my research comes in. I work on plasma diagnostics, uh, measuring the plasma's condition and seeing how things change over time. By measuring the vital uh, condition of the plasma, we can then figure out after the experiment what happened, and then that allows us to make new um, configurations and test simulation. In order to measure the plasma, um, we have, I use electrostatic probes, um, which look somewhat like this. Um, this is a really recent design that um, I've just last week sent away for manufacturing. Um, what happens is that the plasma is made up of ions and electrons, and when they touch something conductive, they create a current. Um, and that's a current that can be measured and gives interesting information about the plasma's condition, its temperature, its density, its pressure, things like that. Hopefully leading to more efficient uh, reactor design in the future. That gives us economic power.